on, baby. I got it. I got one. I got one. Oh, uh, you know, I can't fish. Uh, I can buy stuff at the store. Anyway, this is Campfire Meals. I'm Hammer. Today we're going to do an Alaskan true cod. This is going to be steamed in banana leaves. Now for the fish, we're gonna do this beautiful Alaskan true cod. We're gonna use some red jalapeno slices, some shallot, some cilantro, and we're gonna do a nice little sea salt on there and a little bit more of those grapefruit sections. And we're gonna wrap all of that in these banana leaves and steam them off. This is beautiful stuff. Mm. I'm gonna cut out a portion. I wanna take that thick end right there. That's gonna work out beautifully. It'll probably take half. It's got to fit in there, not 100%. Okay, let's put these two to the side. Now, banana leaves, probably a little hard to come by where you're at. You've got some options. You can use parchment paper. You can do it in foil. I really prefer you not to. I got this at Kalima Market here in Bend. Beautiful stuff, they're friendly people. If you don't find it, ask for it. They'll find it from their walk-in. I like to put my veg down first and then the fish. So we've got some of these nice, Red jalapeno strips. I'm gonna keep this from flying away. And then some shallot rings. Now, you're probably wondering, Hammer, why the banana leaves? Well, because it imparts a nice little fresh green flavor to it. And you're certainly not gonna get any flavor from parchment nor oil. And you're just kind of aiming for where you want your fish to be. All right. Now, we're gonna take, I'm gonna take a couple pieces of this section grapefruit. This side, I'm gonna do a little of this gray sea salt. We're gonna put this down. Now I want quite a bit of this cilantro. Just tear off the leaves. You can leave the stems, it's not gonna bother you. You can maybe tear it up just a little bit. And then, here's the fun part. We've got a nice little Spanish smoked paprika. It's called pimenton. So you're gonna kinda do this like a burrito. So you can fold it. Start with this edge that has basically comes off, off the tree. This hangs down. So you're gonna start with this, it's not gonna break. Then you fold this over. And then you fold this over. Check this out. Now, maybe a little easier to tie it up. You gotta use your hammer. Okay. Come on. You can always use butcher twine. We've got a steamer basket in the Dutch oven. Just enough water down below. Probably don't see a lot of people steaming in a Dutch oven, but I love to do this. Okay, we're gonna <clears throat> place them around. Let me see. Do it like that. And one more around. These are a little on the big side, but <clears throat> it's hungry out here. Put a lid on there. This is gonna take 12 to 15 minutes. All right, let's check her out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, see, uh, see how pliable that is? That's what you're looking for. Make sure you can dig in there, make sure the fish comes right out. Beautiful stuff, oh man. Make sure you Facebook it, subscribe, make sure you give me some comments, and we'll see you soon. It's getting hungry out here. We'll see you at the campfire.